What's good, Collector? Welcome back to another video for the life of Scorpio Tower and Music. Yeah, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to leave any donations, I will have a link in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started with this read to see what's going to come out for the current energy. You have to keep in mind this is a general collective reading. So what do we have for the current energy for the collective Holy Spirit, Father God? Oh, this this is a good <laughs> damn. Cool. To those out there that read Tarot or you're very well experienced at Tarot. Oh, Seven of Swords reverse in the Tower card, bro. This is this is a, a liberation of freedom of a situation. Okay, so we have Aquarius and we have Scorpio Aries energy very heavily. Somebody get caught. Someone could already got caught, but something is getting caught. It could either be somebody getting caught or a situation getting caught. Or you receiving clarity and a breakthrough from a situation because you couldn't have seen straight through something. Okay. You could just look at this imagery right here, bro, and tell that this is uh this ain't too good for with the seven of sword diverse. Whoever's in the seven of sword diverse energy. Oh, <laughs> damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep the uh the energy high vibrational, y'all. But anyways, this could have something to do with your crown chakra. You could be picking this up around your crown chakra, etc. So you could you so you could be picking up some type of change, but it's a positive change, okay? A lot of people when they see this card, they get scared. But this is not about scaring anybody, okay? When it comes to reading the tower card, you should not be scared because when you're reading the energy uh, from a fearful state of mind. That right there is just going to make things worse and you're not going to be able to read the cards accurately, okay? You have to be detached in a form. I mean, energetically connected to your spiritual side, but when it comes to reading the tower cards, you have to be detached. You can't be in a fearful energy. And a lot of people, when they see this card, they get freaked out and start panicking. Oh, oh my God, no. There's nothing to worry about, okay? There's nothing to worry about. But I'm also getting on the uh, other side of this with the Seven of Swords reverse. Something that someone could have been doing that was very deceitful here is definitely uh, you're being liberated. How can I say this? You're having a liberation of freedom from a situation here with the Seven of Swords reverse. Okay, so this is definitely a breakthrough. This is somewhat like the Ace of Swords energy, depending on what kind of energy I'm feeling from the card. But this is a good energy right here. Okay, even though the imagery has been depicted as a lot of chaos going on with the lightning, etc., and you have a bad storm or whatever. I mean, some of you out there could be going through a bad thunderstorm right now for some of you because this could represent lightning, but I'm not really getting that. The Seven of Swords is in reverse, okay? So this is exposure of some sort. This is some form of exposure in order to catch a situation up with the Seven of Swords reverse. What's on the bottom? The Knight of Wands, and this is going to have you with your freedom. Are you going to be excited about some type of exposure of a situation? Because it's going to catch something up. But this could be currently happening now because the tower card. Because I clarified, I said, what's going on with the current energy? So what's going on right now, Holy Spirit, Father God, with this uh, energy? What's going on right now with the current energy for December 2023? What's going on right now with the current energy for December of 2023? One more shuffle. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Okay, there we go. Okay, the Three of Swords keeps wanting to show itself a heartbreaking situation, but that's going to be ending. Hold on, y'all. That's sauce off my hand. Okay, there we go. Father God, let's go ahead and protect my energy while I do this read. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. We have the High Priestess. This is something that you intuitively see coming. So this is definitely something to do with your intuition. And your intuition is on point. You have foresight visions here is what I'm getting. So you may be a Pisces for some of you. 
So if you're a Pisces, you can expect some good news coming in. Don't have to be. It says my inner knowledge is my best guide. And something, I don't know how you say that. But it says my inner guidance is my best guide. So yeah, you're trusting your intuition on the situation. Your intuition could have predicted something. Or something that you could have seen straight through with the high priestess card. So this is something that you are clearly sensing that's around you that's positive. Because we have this right here. I don't know if some of you out there are being helped out with the Six of Pentacles that could represent help. Or you could be giving help to other people. But God's blessing you with also some form of help, etc. Yeah, the Four of Swords here. Your intuition is telling you to be patient and to rest with the Four of Swords. Don't worry about anything. So your intuition is telling you that a situation is coming to an end, but you can also rest from a situation. So you will be able to regain a peace of mind and actually stability. That's what I'm getting. Because even though this has been depicted as a Four of Swords, this is a stable type of energy here is what I'm getting. You will be able to rest. Like this could have been something that you could have been praying for with the praying hands. And if you look at this window right here, this is giving me the vibes of like a church. Some of you out there, even though you may not go to church, you could have been praying to the most high about something. And he's literally answering your prayers here because we have the cross right there on the chest. And there's other people that know about your abilities here is what I'm getting with the high priestess card. So yeah, you have been enlightened to a situation. There's also other energies that's been enlightened to a situation. You could have enlightened these individuals with the high priestess, but you are trusted enough to be believed with the high priestess here. So if you're a Pisces, you're trusted enough to be believed on the situation here. That's why you have nothing to be concerned about. You can have a good night's rest or whatever this is. Okay, you will be able to rest. You will be able to come out of all this energy to where it feels very over chaotic etc. That's another thing that I'm getting. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. So some of you out there may be trusting your intuition that your intuition is telling you that this is not really a missed opportunity with the Ace of Wands reversed, but this is going back to something with the Ace of Wands reversed. It's reversing on to something. That's what I'm getting. Hold on. Fix this camera. Okay, there we go. So yeah, your intuition is definitely telling you that something may be going back to something. Yeah, the five of pentacles reverse. This can have something to do with your financial stability. Some of you out there may be employed as a psychic for some of you. And you may be a Pisces, a Libra, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or a Taurus. that may be employed as a psychic. Don't have to be. But this is something to do with your employment with the five of pentacles here reverse. But if some of you out there was in bad health, you will be, you will be able to come out of that. There's positive changes ahead. With the five of pentacles, even if you're even if you aren't a psychic, you could have went to a psychic and it could have gave you some form of information that everything is going to be OK with the five of pentacles reverse. So some of you out there could have been seeking some answers and clarity from a clairvoyant here. And this clairvoyant is literally telling you the truth about the situation. And it's literally backing up what your intuition has already sensed, because I'm getting that whoever this is resonating with, you're very intuitive. You have the ability to see things that you can't see physically. So you can see things happening that you can't see physically with that, like I said, that vision. So yeah, some of you out there are receiving some form of visions or you could have received clarity from a clairvoyant. This is why things are getting better for you with the Five of Pentacles reverse. Okay, definitely a huge change financially here. Yeah, look at that. That's a yes card. Look, so that's confirming that that's exactly what's going on. Could be a Leo for some of you, but this is a positive, new, bright beginning for you. You don't have to be a clairvoyant. You could just be an intuitive person that knows when something is ahead or when something is occurring. But this is something that is occurring currently, but yet there's something ahead of you with the sun card being right here. There's brighter days ahead. Okay, and some of you out there could be picking that up intuitively. You could sense something good about to happen. Your intuition's on point. Your intuition is on point four of pentacles reverse. We also have the devil card. So your intuition is telling you that something good is about to happen or it could be happening now. And whatever was trying to hold you back with the four of pentacles here, it's in reverse. Whatever was trying to hold you back, it's going to now be holding this back. Whatever this is involving, this is a toxic situation that is being held back for you here. And I'm also getting that you have a lot of spiritual protection around you. Yeah, look at that. Hierophant 
You have a lot of spiritual protection around you here with the hair fine energy. And there's someone right here that's different that may be paying attention to you or you could be sensing something good about to happen because God's right there on your side, I'm telling you. This is a battle between God and the devil is what I'm getting, the devil, and then you have the God right here. So this is definitely a battle between the darkness and the goodness here, the darkness and the lightness, but the lightness will all, always overcome this right here. And it looks like to me the darkness is losing with the four pinnacle traverse because if you look at this, that's the horns right there. This is losing its grip on you. So the devil, whatever toxic situation is definitely losing its grip on you because they got someone right here physically possibly protecting you here. Okay. God wants to let you know that everything is okay. And whatever was trying to put you in bad health, you will be able to come out of that. Okay. Even if you're not a psychic, even if you don't have a psychic business, you could be an intuitive individual that can be a reader on your own time. Okay. So you don't have to be employed as a psychic. You can just be an intuitive person. That's how it was for me. I used to watch Tower all the time, to be honest with y'all, before I become a spiritual leader. You know, I'm not just a regular Tower reader, but I used to watch Tower all the time to receive answers. And believe it or not, bro, it was accurate. It was accurate. And it, and it wasn't to the point to where it would scare you. It would just give you clarity on situations, even a general messages. And I start to look like to the side, like, hold on a minute. I'm like, these individuals don't know me from Adam and Eve. How the hell? And it's like, it's, you know, you know, it's a form of clarity that could be obtained through divination, their skills from divination. So this definitely has something to do with a very powerful divination reader here that may be bringing clarity to a situation. And you could have been held back or something was trying to in a fear, like something was trying to hold you back here, like there's a lot of toxic energy and people may have thought that divination was of the darkness, but it's really not, bro. It's of God I'm telling you. That's all about beliefs. You have your right to your beliefs. If other people want to choose to believe that it's dark, then that's that's their opinion. That's their belief. But there's other people that are seeing that this is not dark at all. It's what was surrounding you that was trying to step in the way of this. Is what was occurring, which was from darkness. And yet you are being seen to be of the light here with the sun calling. You being seen to be of the light. Okay. This could be changing a lot of beliefs too. So they could be trusting in the uh, psychics here because there could be a lot of skeptical energy involving people like this. But I'm going to tell you right now, bro, whoever this individual is, is definitely on point with their information. This is an intuitive, clairvoyant energy reader. They're on point with their information. And you could be exactly that person. You could be a Pisces. We have Taurus here, two Capricorn. You could be in any of these signs right here. Pisces, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus very heavily. And you are being seen to be trusted. So this is a trusted psychic is what I'm hearing. A trusted psychic. The death card, reverse Scorpio energy. So yeah, whatever you... So you could be feeling like something that is changing... Because something wasn't changing, if that makes any sense. So this is the inability to change, but it's changing anyways. It's like something is stubborn enough to not want to change, but just because it was stubborn in a negative, toxic type of way, it's going to bring negative changes to them and yet occur positive changes upon you with the five of pentacles reverse, and that's what's going to make you happy. Okay, whatever the situation is. We also have, yeah, look at that, the star card. Some of you out there could be in the public eye. Anytime you pull the star card with other energy surrounding that, so you could definitely be seen as a very high vibrational individual here. And it can literally be seen, like if you are in the public eye, it could be seen that you're battling the darkness with your power here. Like you have a lot of power. But whatever had its grip on you, this is all about gripping onto you, trying to hold things back, trying to hold you back. It's in reverse, okay? Even if you're not in the public eye, this could be helping you obtain clarity on a situation to help you move forward because you may be feeling trapped in the situation. You may not know what direction you should be going, but this is an individual right here that could be trusted enough to actually give you their beliefs and to explain what their intuitive abilities are telling them in order to give you guidance on the situation. So someone may be guiding someone down something 
to where they can see something for themselves physically. Because this is a guide here. So someone could be used as a guide in order to link it to something here is also something else I'm getting and picking up on. Okay. So yeah, you definitely will be able to heal from a situation with the star card. There's an ending to despair. There's a lot of happiness ahead for you, or this could be happening right now. If you sense something good happening, it's because it's happening right this minute. God is preparing a good day for you. That's all about having a good day. Okay. And if this is something like this is something that could be happening publicly too. We also have the three of pentacles here. Yeah, there's other people working right along by your side with the three of pentacles here. So these are people that are working right along with you here to free you from a situation. You remember how I told y'all you could be some form of guide. You could be people could be looking up to you and they could be getting answers right here. They could be receiving accurate answers from someone that they look up to here. And you could be providing them with accurate answers, uh, accurate answers because of how on point your abilities are here. So your abilities are trusted here, no doubt. They're trusted, they're trusted enough to take in some form of information. If you are indeed a psychic in a public eye, okay? You're legitimate here. This could have something to do with a, a toxic mother figure uh, with the Empress Reverse. Uh, possibly a Taurus don't have to be. So this could definitely have something to do with a toxic mother figure trying to relentlessly do something to somebody. But yet this right here is exactly what's catching this situation up. That's what I'm getting with the Empress Reversed. This is working against this individual. We have the Ten of Wands Reverse. There's an ending to some type of burden situation that you was going through that you have had to carry on a lot of burdens. And it felt like a situation wasn't going to change, but it is. It is. Yeah, look, the Eight of Wands here, just, just what I was telling y'all, it's going to change for the best in your favor and yet change for the negative in this individual's favor that was continuously trying to do something relentlessly. And that's what's losing this grip on you here. There's a narcissist that is completely losing this grip or a situation that was very narcissistic that you have had a lot of power to combat through your high levels of intuitive intelligence and also knowing when to speak on things and when to give direction. That's what I'm getting. So you could be giving these individuals direction to see through things, to spot things, to actually see things for what they are. And that's exactly what's happening here. They're seeing a toxic situation trying to control you, but that's what's losing its grip because these individuals are working right beside you in order to release this from having this grip upon you is what I'm getting. Okay. We also have, uh, oh, the two of wands reverse. So there was a decision that was made here. So there's a decision being made to where something is moving forward for you with the eight of wands. So you could be receiving some form of communication or someone could be traveling to come give you some form of information in regards to this. You definitely have a lot of positive energy and forward movement within the situation. Just when you think a situation is not going to change, I'm also getting that if you was expecting the worst out of the situation, this is not going to end for you. You're going to continuously move forward with the eight of wands here. You could be moving forward for a lot of things is what I'm getting. And we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles right behind that. So, yeah, you're being helped out big time over a situation because you could have possibly gave someone the information they was looking for. This could be a form of information. And if you look at this, this could be like paper. Someone may be looking over something and you could have given them the inf missing information that was occurring, that was hidden in the dark and brought something to the light here. That's making a lot of sense on what this energy is that has been trying to hold you back here, which is very toxic. But that is what's catching them up and holding them back to where you can propel forward with the eight of wands. OK. You can expect things to work out in your favor big time with the three of pentacles here. Or just like I said, some of you out there may be observing a clairvoyant and you may be receiving answers for yourself. As I say that this individual is trusted enough to keep on listening to them and following them for guidance because they're telling you the right things. They're guiding you down the right path. And there's also other people possibly in higher places here with the high, the hair of fire card. I keep wanting to say the high priestess. But there's also other people here that also trust this individual too. So trust that... Whoever you may be watching, and if you feel a good energy from them, you feel very balanced. You feel 
like you could get a, a peace of mind, you could rest. It's because the individual is bringing you a peace of mind. You don't feel all chaotic. You don't feel fearful. You feel like you're having something confirmed. It's because this individual is trusted enough to listen to them because they're looking out for your best interest at heart. They have your best interest at heart and also a situation too. These individuals are meant to protect here. They're meant to protect with their abilities. And since, be, since they protected the situation with their abilities, they can also be protected too and helped out a lot with the Six of Pentacles here. So this could be someone paying you for your services, for your spiritual knowledge and services here on the situation. You have great skills at something. Whoever this clairvoyant is, whoever this is resonating with, you have great skills and you could be paid big time for how accurate your skills really are because just like I said, this is working in your favor against a situation that has tried to hold you back, but this is in reverse. This is going to have to let go. And the minute it's being let go, it's catching this up all at the same time with the devil and the empress reverse here. This is why you have nothing to be concerned about with these burdens. So there's definitely a lot of burdens being released out of your energy. There's a lot of burdens being re uh, released out of your job if you do have a job as a clairvoyant here, as a psychic, or you could just be a tower card reader, okay? And believe it or not, you don't even have to be a clairvoyant. You could just be a regular tower card reader that can read the cards logically and still be on point with it because the tower cards have logical meanings. It's all in how you match up all the cards that's in alignment with each other and to create what's really going on. You have to use your creative abilities at the same time. So something that's also giving me the vibes that you may be very artistic and creative with the star card that represents creativity. So you're being seen to be a very creative individual. It says the universe shows me that I can have faith in my dreams. So, yeah, this could be a dream job of some of y'all's out there. I'm also getting this is like a dream come true. Like you see this all on the movies. Or you see this on television, but yet you never experienced this in real life. But this is literally being seen, what you would see on these documentary shows whenever they be using some of these psychics. That's kind of what I'm getting here. A psychic could be used for a situation here. And this psychic is literally coming back to be accurate. This is the same type of individual that you would see on a documentary show is what I'm getting. Or whatever they call that. Whenever they lead people to something. You remember how I said that? A guide, they lead these individuals as a guide to see something for themselves. That's kind of what I'm getting. So this would be the same thing that you've seen on television a while back. If y'all watch TV or whatever, or I don't know if it still comes on. I haven't watched TV in a long time, y'all, to be honest. I mean, ever since they came out with all this technology where you can watch YouTube you can basically go on YouTube too. Some of y'all out there could be watching YouTube videos. And this will literally be the same type of thing that you see on these YouTube videos with a psychic or whatever, a documentary involving a psychic that has uncovered something. Also, with I'm getting unsolved mysteries. Something to do with unsolved mysteries. This will be the same thing that you would see on unsolved mysteries and how they had these episodes of psychics that will unlock a safe, etc. Because they trusted what their angels told them in order to get that combination right. Because I seen that a long time ago. And somebody forgot the combination, but yet that psychic literally listened to their angels telling them something. And whenever they was turning, bro, I'm telling you, I shit you not, it clicked straight open. That was on Unsolved Mysteries. This will be the same thing that you would see on something like that, though. And this is mystery. The card of mystery. Okay, unsolved mysteries. This will be the same thing that you would see on TV. I don't know if that still comes on or not, but I used to watch it whenever Robert Stack, I want to say he's the director. How have you say that? But yeah, Robert Stack. I used to watch it whenever he was in there. It's just his voice, like he knew how to explain things. Like it just created that mystery, that curiosity, what he would say next, you know? But yeah, this is definitely giving me the same vibes of something that something would be seen 
as if it would be seen on us all mysteries. Because there was a situation that was a mystery that kept on occurring, but the mystery looked like to me as being pieced together as solved by a clairvoyant here with the high priestess. There was a missing piece to the puzzle, but everything is fitting because of someone having that sacred knowledge to get into certain information that their angels provide them with and also God provides them with in order to create the missing pieces to piece everything together. This is all about piecing everything together like this. That could be interpreted as a puzzle. Piecing different pieces of the puzzle together and figuring something out through this right here. This could also be through synchronization too. Excuse the hiccup, child. I'm trying my best to get the speech out. Okay, to read out. This could be piecing things together with synchronization too. Numbers, number patterns. Leading this individual to see through certain things like patterns, etc. But these patterns hold sacred meanings the way they can see through that. I'm telling you right now, but this is a very special person right here. Whoever this is, a very special person. Because in order for this individual to see through just a bit, they could just see the letter J or B or something along these lines right here. And they would literally receive information that would trace it back to something. They would trace it back to something. So someone has a lot of skill in seeing through some form of patterns here. But the patterns that are being revealed to them literally give them the knowledge that they're looking for that they can't see physically that was happening behind their back. That they can't see physically, but yet spiritually it could be seen and acknowledged. So yeah, this is definitely giving me the piece of a puzzle here. The piece of a puzzle. The missing piece of the puzzle has been found at why something was occurring here. That was causing these burdens with the Ten of Wands reverse. So if someone's gut feeling keeps picking up on something, you was picking it up for a valid reason. It was a valid reason. It's because exactly what your gut feeling has picked up and you could have been guided to speak on some things. It could have been backed up physically. So whatever your intuition was telling you could be backed up physically. That there was a lot of toxicity occurring in the situation. Definitely a lot of toxicity. You could have been experienced creative blocks with the Ace of Wands reverse, but there was something that was causing those creative blocks. Not just a situation trying to hold you back and control you, but there was something else that was being done to control in order to prevent this from being seen to the light here. And it was to possibly to attack your creativity, to try to neutralize your psychic gifts here. But yet you neutralize this situation with how much power you pulled through your spiritual side and literally had that superhuman strength to pull through something here in order to relentlessly get into what you're looking for. And I'm going to tell you right now, bro, it's going to trace it directly back to why they have been trying to put a creative block, what you're representing, trying to manipulate some form of spiritual gift here. Because if, if this was to be seen publicly, this can literally trace it all back to why this right here was being done. Because of something that has been causing repetitive burdens, that's going to be released. This type of energy does not want exposure because the light will always win. That's what I'm hearing too. The light will always win, and that's exactly what is winning here. We have two light cards here with the sun and the star, the Herophant and the High Priestess, but we have two light. This is major arcanas, but this is a very intense, strong, positive energy with the star and the sun card in alignment with each other. You're immediately being seen to be exactly who you are. And everything is making sense. 
while something has tried to cause an interference with this position because of something that was holding you back discreetly and covertly. And this is all about hidden in the dark too here. But everything that's in the dark here can literally be brought to the light by someone shining their own light down. By turning the light on within the inside of them, enlightenment, you get it? Enlightenment. Y'all get what I'm trying to tell y'all? Enlightenment. That means the light. Enlightenment. So you literally had enough power to turn your light on on the inside to shine light down in the darkest of places, to piece something together yourself here with your abilities. And it literally has enough power to trace through patterns, to see through patterns, and to catch on to things in order to bring something that was done in the dark to the light in order for something to work out in your favor because what you have been saying has been the truth here. Why you think these positive changes are occurring with the five of pentacles reverse here? And why was this on the bottom of the deck? You could literally be known publicly for something too. This could get you recognized publicly. I'm getting an unexpected change. Even though you may be experiencing a lot of somewhat delays, but there's better days ahead. Something, something could have you acknowledged in front of a lot of people here. Something like unsolved mysteries. That's what I'm getting. This could be produced publicly here. Like you would see this on tele. If somebody turns on the, t uh, the TV. I guess some do it like TV. You could also be on TV when you least expect it. You could be on TV. Some form of documentary could be on TV, bro. That's what I'm getting. And this would be just like unsolved mysteries. At how you're watching an episode and yet they're trying to figure out certain things. This is also giving me the vibes of cold case files too. That's also what I'm getting. Because they have that too. They're trying to piece together things that they couldn't understand. And yet everything makes sense eventually when they do a deeper research and a deeper investigation on something. And they're not going to stop until it's closed officially. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> That's kind of the vibes I'm getting too here because they do that on there too. I've I never seen no psychics doing that, but I'm pretty sure they have one of those episodes that may have that. So I'm getting Unsolved Mysteries Cold Case Files. Two of them. That will be seen on television. But this will be the same thing that you see on television that is legitimately happening with somebody that is a clairvoyant that may be seen on a platform. Taurus, Pisces energy, Capricorn energy. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy very heavily. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting here. And this is linking back to something that is very toxic. That could have been done to a few people. But you were one of the ones that they try to do something to or a situation was trying to occur upon you relentlessly. And these individuals did not know who you are whatsoever. They don't know nothing about you. These individuals don't know you, but you know them. You know them like the back of your hand. You see straight through these individuals. You see straight through this dark energy. You pierce directly straight through this dark energy with how sharp your vision is. And when the Most High wants you to see something, he's going to come on stronger, a lot more intense, and overpower this situation right here in order to give you the details of a situation for you to broadcast and link it directly to this Three of Pentacles energy right here. <clears throat> Clarify the High Priestess. 
Clark, what's this card? Yeah, look at that. The nine of swords. You could feel like somebody may be in anxiety. You could feel like a situation. A few people may be in their head because they're scared. They're scared. They're scared. You could have also predicted something. You could also read on something or revealed something that was attacking you here. Because this is all about the body. You see where this is pierced through the body? This could cause body aches, etc. Something to do with the body. But this is something that nobody else can see because it's done in the dark. See how it's dark? This is what was done covertly in the dark. And this is all about in the dark too. But there's something that is working in your favor that was done in the dark. It's got the darkness right here too. There was something that was done in the dark that's linking it to this nine of swords here. That could be piecing a piece of a puzzle together on what was really occurring to you right here. A situation that was hurting you mentally and on the bodily level, which is physically. But covertly, because there's nobody else that can see this. There's nobody else that can feel this because this individual, if you look at the imagery, what's been depicted on this card, there's a person alone. But yet, just because you're alone don't mean that you're alone spiritually. You have this man on your side, which is God himself. You also have your angels and you have your gifts, your gifted nature. God gave you these gifts for a reason. And you literally have gotten into something right here, bro, that's literally extreme. Extreme. And that would explain why these individuals are anxious, not you. Because they did this. They did exactly this to you. And you see straight through it. You see what has been causing some type of, you could have been fighting something off when it comes to something trying to attack your vessel. Because if you look at the sword, swords could be interpreted as a weapon, right? This could attack the mind. It could also attack the vessel too. Why are they doing this to you? Why are they doing this to you? Because you are aware. Because you have the knowledge. And just because they tried to interfere with your gift of nature, whoever has went through this, just because they tried whatever situation, try to interfere with your gift of nature through this extreme to these extremes, it's piecing that puzzle together. I'm telling you. This is piecing that puzzle together. Clear for the four swords. Look at that nine of wands. It's showing itself again. So yeah, you have stood and battled this situation for a good minute. The last four weeks or so. I'm hearing you could be a, a Sagittarius or a Libra that could have been battling the situation relentlessly. But you are going to come out on top. You are going to come out on top. You know exactly what was done to you here. And you, if you see that bandage around that guy's head. Or could be a female too. Just because it's been depicted as a man, a female could have went through this too. But I'm, I'm describing the imagery of the card. If you look at this bandage that's around this guy's head, you was hurt mentally with a situation. Something was attacking your vessel in order to interfere with your mental state and also your body too. And if you see this individual right here trying to protect themselves at all costs, But if you look at these wands in the background, that's the things that are protecting you that you can't see. But you are aware. You are aware. Look at this man looking. He's aware. This is you standing up. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. Your physical health being hurt, too, with this bandage around that head. But there was something right here. Remember how I told y'all earlier? There was something that was causing you to feel exactly that. That could represent headaches, dizziness. It could come through as waves of anxiety, waves of nausea, etc. Y'all see what I'm talking about? This is straight over the head. And look what has been depicted right here. Weapons. But yet we have this right here, but this is covert. This is not an actual sword. It's, a, it's some form of weapon that was attacking you. 
your body that was done covertly and yet you have had to stand up and protect yourself. Clarify the Ace of Wands reverse. This could also have something to do with a, a some form of sensation of heat. The Wands represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have been depleted of your energy. You felt like something was trying to deplete you, your energy. I'm trying my best way to explain what I'm seeing in the imagery of these cards, okay? But it's like you still have the energy to stand up. And there's no other way, brother, that, that there's no other explanation out here. This is kind of stimulant to my last reading. There's no other explanation on who is protecting you through this. And the only other thing that I could come up with with this devil call, bro, for someone to do this to you right here is demonic. And it was only done to you through other physical vessels. Demons were operating through other vessels in order to do this to you physically. That was done covertly because just like I said, the devil, once the light shines down on him, it's over. It's over. So, you know what I told y'all earlier? So, if you've been going through a period of bad health or suffering financially, you're going to be able to come out. This is breaking you down on a physical level, causing you bad health. You're going to be able to come out of that. You was being crippled energetically, and it was also crippling your psychic abilities, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you, spirit. I'm on point, bro. I'm telling you. Clarify this Ace of Wands reverse. But that's not going to lo no longer happen to you, okay? And the main reason why this was being done is because something didn't want to be brought to the light that was continuously being done to you in order to abuse you and control you here with the devil card. And this was another way in order to get some type of revenge on you. But guess what? God said enough. God said enough because the way that they went about this revenge is catching this situation all up, bro. Everything coming to the light. And it could possibly be on television, too, with the Ten of Pentacles. Exactly what you went through can literally be exposed on TV, which will represent, I don't know if this is the news or some form of documentary. Clarify the Ace of Wands reverse. This is too many. Clarify the Ace of Wands reverse. I need one card, Holy Spirit. Give me one card. The Five of Swords wanted to turn over. As y'all can see, but I'm not going to choose that card. Because I normally take jumpers. But this is the card that I wanted to... I'm trying, this is how I look. Don't see it. This is uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to show y'all. Look, Five of Swords. You see it? That would be intimidation, bullying, harassment. Done with some form of Ace of Wands reverse here. Y'all already know what I'm trying to say. Clarify the Ace of Wands reverse. That would be an energetic, something about energetic assault. Assaulting you. Yeah, you was assaulted to cause these body aches and to cause interferences with your gifts if you are a gifted person. Just because you may be a gifted person don't mean that you have a job in a public eye. You could just be, in general, a gifted different person that may not even be in the public eye, and you could have went through that. But I'm also good for somebody that's in the public eye. This is a situation right here that someone was highly intimidated by, and yet this was the revenge that was inflicted upon this individual right here, this clairvoyant, that may be in the public eye. We have Aquarius and Pisces energy right here very heavily. Don't have to be. Clarify the Ace of Wands reverse. Give me one card, Holy Spirit. There's too many cards. Queen of Swords reversed. So yeah, this was done. Yeah, look at that. The Five of Swords showed itself again. You remember when that card wanted to turn over earlier? It didn't jump out, but yet look at this. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords reverse here. So, yeah, this was definitely something that was affect. 
interfering with your mind. This could have been having your mind jump. Something about like jump, like your energy could have been jumping like that. You could have been feeling like waves of something. That's waves. If you look at that, don't that look like the ocean of waves? That's the water barrier. Something about the barrier. Water barrier. That would be Aquarius, but it's not Aquarius. But I'm looking at the waves. A wave is something to affect you mentally. This is the mental energy with the sword. But yet we have a sword right here. This is a weapon to, uh, to interfere mentally. But yet we have the Ace of Wands reverse. This is all about heat energy. So yeah, this is waves to cause energetic interferences here. And that jumping motion like that. I'm also hearing like something to do with like brain zaps because that's the mind that's the mind but that's also your body too because we have the body right here where this is directly hitting right here and the next step was to do this right here with that bandage around that guy's head so, yeah, this has definitely hurt your body, bro. Like, this has been putting you in bad health, and it was covertly being done. I'm going to tell you right now, ain't nothing covert about it no more. This is going to bring a lot of trouble to these individuals is what I'm getting into. This is going to bring a lot of trouble, but it's not to you. You are protected here. Clarify the five of pentacles reverse. Clarify the five of pentacles reverse. The hermit. The hermit. This could be your spiritual side. You could have brought something to the light here. Look, it, you remember when I told you about how they have those documentary shows that they investigate things until they get to the bottom? This is a measuring stick because measuring sticks are interpreted as yellow. Someone has had to do a deep measures. Like there's a lot of measures here, a lot of measuring going on. But it's all about digging. And they pretty much got to the bottom of it. That's why it's almost to the top right here. And look, we have that lantern caging that star in. You ain't supposed to be caged in here. This situation was caging you up and trying to interfere with your true potential here. And someone right here, look like to me, has a long measure of what has been causing this to you. You could be a Virgo that could have been going through this. This is heavy Virgo energy. It says, I honor my spiritual self, but there's someone that honors your spiritual gifts. That has the analytical abilities. That's what I'm getting here physically. So yeah, there's two different energies here. So yeah, you have uncovered what has been putting you in bad health. Why you've been feeling certain sensations within your body? Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. This is too many. Clarify the sun. Page of Swords reverse. So the uh, truth is coming out about some form of watching. Something that was, yeah, look at this with the sword right there by the head. Something to do with weapons to control you here. Something that was done in order to control you on a mental level. A bodily level to cause interferences, stagnation, possibly to your body. This is your body because if you look at this stick, that's all from the head all the way down to the toes.
And if this is done long enough, this could break someone down, bro. This could literally put them to where, I don't know if this can occur to them, but uh, I'm. this ain't a good energy at all. But it's good in your favor, okay? You have nothing to worry about, okay? It's not about being scared, but this is not good for whoever was doing this to you with the death card reverse here. You are literally digging something up here with the death card reverse. You are ripping into something. I literally see like, you know how they have those dogs that dig like that or a coyote that makes his uh, den? Digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. See, yeah, there is a lot of digging here. That would represent measurements. You have to have the proper measurements to a situation in order to link certain things up, in order for it to calculate and come back to something here. That's what I'm getting intuitively. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, <laughs> now I'm starting to get, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm starting to get excited. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. But anyways, there's definitely something going on here with some type of malice. And it's done, look like to me it's done to try to control your mind. To try to control your body, to try to control certain things here. And this is not good at all. But this is also my stalking card too with the page of sword reverse. This is stalking. They don't want something to be illuminated about some form of stalking here, unlawful stalking. It's being illuminated anyways, and it's also being illuminated what else you have been going through from this unlawful stalking. Clarify the four pentacles reverse. Look at this. Seven of swords wanted to come out. You outsmarted these individuals with the seven of swords, and you could have told the truth about it. You literally had the weapons of the mind because this represents intellectual. Anytime you pull the swords, that represents the mind. You was literally using the weapons of your intuitive intelligence and the mind in order to combat this and yet have these individuals seen exactly for what they have been doing here. You are literally escaping this form of control tactic is what I'm getting and catching a, all another situation up. That's the main reason why this was done to you. In order to prevent you from moving forward, but yet holding something over your head, but yet uh, another situation occurring out of revenge because you knew the truth. You were literally using the weapons of the mind, bro. That's what I'm getting right here with the seven of swords and I was smarting what is trying to hold you back and literally, literally causing them to lose you escaped that also with the seven swords here. You were smart enough to escape it, but it's like, bro, I don't know what it is here. You have some form of intuitive intelligence making a break for it, which are representing knowing how these individuals was operating or situation was operating, and yet you use that to your advantage in order to Reverse psychology on it. That's all about intuitive reverse psychology and spiritual reverse psychology, but also the psychological level of it too, physically. Within knowing how these individuals operate mentally because they were stuck in one motion and yet you had all kind of ways that you moved. And since it was stuck in one way, doing things one way, you moving all these other kind of ways literally left the things behind that can trace it right back to what has been doing this, that you are smarted here, a situation that you are smarted. You know what this is giving me the vibes of with the seven of swords energy? 007. That man was smart, yeah. You remember Pierce that played for uh, the world's not enough and golden eye? He knew, he knew, he knew. He'll walk into a room and scan it. Like he'll walk into a room, hold on y'all, he'll walk into a room and scan it like that. And he just have that look about him, like that. 
and he'll stay silent. He wouldn't let everybody in there know what he's there for. And he'd just be sitting there like this, like that. <clears throat> That's kind of what I'm getting here. He started to link things together too. Whenever the world's not enough, I don't know if y'all watched that movie. He linked it together that Electric King and Renard was working together. Because of him, she said something that matched directly up to what he said. Then that's when he had that face. He's like, huh? And it started clicking back in his mind. They was both working together, but yet tried to put it as if they didn't have nothing to do with that. But there were certain things that he seen through that led him to see that they was indeed working together. And they try to play it off as if it wasn't like that. But why did that lady put, put James in that, uh, that chair? Because she was evil. She was evil. And he knew that. That's off that movie, The World's Not Enough. And it was choking the hell out of him. It was, it was meant to hurt him. And yet nobody else could see anything. Nobody else. <clears throat> that would be torture, bro. There's a reason why that movie is playing through my telepathic abilities because I'm catching on to that movie like visions and scenes of that movie. He was being tortured in that chair only for a little while, bro, until he broke loose. It was over. It was over. I'm going to tell you how he got out that situation. I know it's a movie. I'm going to tell you how he got out that situation. I know it's just a movie or whatever, but just hear me out. I'm going to tell you exactly how he got out that situation. If you want to look at it from the movie's perspective, he remained calm. He remained calm. Even though it was hurting him, he remained calm. That's how he withstood that type of torture. He remained calm. He didn't lose control. Yeah, he was angry. But he didn't lose himself while going through it. He remained calm. Just like in the pipeline when he helped that girl. He, they tried everything in their power to defuse that. But I'm going to tell you right now, he remained calm. He didn't get freaked out. He didn't get freaked out. That's the last thing you should do about a situation like that is panic. Because panic is going to make it worse. And this right here, the reason why you're not panicking is because you have that spiritual awareness and you may also be a grounded, level-headed individual in order to have your sanity through a situation too. You cannot lose control. You definitely cannot lose control. You have to remain logical and calm. Remember what I've been telling y'all? You have to have patience. You can't lose your mind. And this right here can... Have someone literally legitimately lose their mind if done long enough, but yet other people just could have worked on, but yet somehow with you it's just different. It's because you know you are aware of what's being done. That right there gives you the ability to combat it and I was smarter with the seven of swords here. You was literally like this is giving me the vibes of someone being spawned. Like, they're using all this, but yet they don't know who you're working for is what I'm getting. You work for the Lord. You work for the Lord. Somebody else may want you to work for them, too. You was the one the Lord sent out in order to get them trapped up in their own nonsense, and yet you escape all at the same time when they thought that they had you. But yet, why is this in reverse? They're losing while you're the one getting away with the seven of swords here. And everything literally linking all back to why what was done 
that was physically seen, but yet this has been done covertly in order to try to interfere with what was done to you physically. Y'all get what I'm saying? Oh, you a smart person. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Go on, you know what I'm saying? You a smart person. Yes, you are, and you're a tough person too. You're very tough. You get a lot of tough energy here. So yeah, you're, you're incredibly tough. Especially when it comes to your mental state. You are incredibly tough when it comes to your mental state. You have an iron mind. Iron mind. Iron spirit. Clarify the devil. Yeah, look at that. The devil ain't too happy. Because guess what? His time is up. With the uh, Knight of Wands reverse. And everything of what he thought that he was going to do to God's destiny. is literally going to reverse onto him. I'm telling you. It's a figure of speech. It's going to squish him. I'm telling you, this will, is it looked like to me, it's turning this way. And that's what happens whenever he tries to get in the way of God's plans here. Or to try to get in the way of someone else's destiny. This is what's going to happen to him. He's literally trying to cause the heavenly realm to be upside down. He, it's like he's trying to rule over God. That's what I'm getting here. He tried to rule over God. But yet he's sadly mistaken because God got a special plan for him. And it was you, you to be put here in order to catch his wicked, evil plans up that was doing this to you, that was hurting you. And I'm going to tell you right now what I'm seeing with this will of fortune, exactly this. Or it could go both ways. And look where he's at. Exactly right back where he belongs. Why you come out on top. But this is what's going on for that devil energy. He ain't too happy. He ain't having fun no more. He ain't having fun. His days of excitement is over. Because you had the ability and the authority to put him in his place. By your gifts. Your gift of nature. Daredevil. Look. Daredevil. See that? Daredevil. This is the type of energy that cannot outsmart God's plan. God instructed you to do things for a certain reason. And it's because he knew that this energy right here knows the Bible himself. But there is a sacred way. Just like I said, the devil, he can't really. I mean, he can work through certain synchronization, but you have to have your proper level of discernment to see through that in order to combat that also. To not fall for the tricks. To escape them. With the seven of swords here. To escape them. But there's a reason why God guided you to see through things and to have things come through as symbolism. In order for him to not be able to read or to distinguish or to determine or to have a plan that will outsmart his that has that, that gives you that foresight vision and all to see things coming long before they happen. That throws him off. So that right there is a sign that this is a battle between the good and the bad here. It's also a spiritual battle going on, but this was something that was done to you. Physically, too. Okay? He ain't too happy. Good. Clear for the hell font. Good. Clear for the hell font card. Two cards. Clear for the hell font. Oh, judgment. Go y'all seen it. Now y'all seen that pop out, huh? With a judgment card. Y'all seen that card? God has this situation on the judgment for sure. He has this situation on the judgment towards Scorpio energy. 
You are literally being guided by the most high. Like you don't know how protected you are from a situation. I'm going to tell you right now, there's also a higher power that is in physical form in a higher up place that has been literally seeing you do all of this by yourself with no help. I mean, yeah, you have help from God, but I'm talking about physically. Nothing physically to protect you. There's only angels around you that has been protecting you and giving you direct guidance with the judgment card. So, yeah, you're being seen to be believed here. It's all about belief. And there could possibly, I don't know if this is a judge. A judge could believe you too. A judge could be highly enthused with who you are, bro. I'm telling you. Bro, if you have this much amount of respect from a higher up judge, it's kind of what I'm getting, then you there's something definitely special about you. You want me to tell you something that's going to make you happy? This judge right here, guess what God did to the judge before the judge became that judge? He knew that judge was going to become a judge, a genuine one at that. That makes fair judgment calls that does things by the book with the hair of fine. Because they're also a healer to the physical form of things. They have the power to stop things and to protect situations with that judge right there. That's why this individual deserves to be called your honor. There's a reason. There's a powerful meaning beyond that word that most people don't recognize. But this is an individual right here that deserves to be called that because they're, they're in an honorable position to protect. That are fair. That give accurate judgment calls. With the judgment card being there. There's a powerful meaning beyond that because it's an honorable position to be there in order to stop what is occurring through these physical vessels that are occurring spiritually, but yet it don't matter. It's still a physical thing that's being done that deserves to be stopped. And this individual right here has the power to call a judgment upon the situation. This would be one of your angels through the human form that has the power to call a judgment on the situation and to sentence. That's what that is. It's not just about a gavel, bro. It's not just about calling the individual your honor. There's power beyond that. And when that gavel is hit, it's over. That's what I'm getting. But this is what happened in the spirit world, too. This is what's going on right now in the spirit world. This situation is being judged and evaluated accurately here. That's what I'm getting physically, though. Not just spiritually, but physically. This could have been in result in you calling something out. This could have been before a judge with a judgment call. He could have seen something. It looks like to me either this man or lady is highly enthused with something. It could be your work, what you're doing with the three of pentacles. Don't have to be. But this is an individual right here that goes by the books is what I'm hearing. With the Herald Fountain the Judgment Card, it's all about fair judgments. Okay? For some of you out there, if you have been calling something out, like if you are a truth teller or you are someone that is a spiritual person and you have these abilities that are very sacred, because the Herald Fountain, that's a sacred energy along with that uh, high priestess. That's a sacred energy. This judge could somewhat see you and remind him or her of their job. Just by the way you call certain things out, you judge the situation based on your experience, which is representing wisdom. See, in order to have wisdom, you have to have experience firsthand in order to obtain that wisdom through experience, learning lessons, etc., so it's obvious you learned something throughout the situation, but yet these individuals right here will never learn until they put in a situation like this for them to learn. That's what I'm getting. And this may be what this individual may be seeing. Like this ain't going to stop until they're put in their place and they're literally judged accurately and physically and to be punished. 
that's when a lesson will be learned because it's obvious you are aware of what's going on with something here is what I'm getting. Okay. Clarify the death card reversed. The eight of cups wanted to jump out. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle it again. So it'll come out on the table. Clarify the death card reverse. Why is the death card reverse here? Six of wands and page of cups reverse. Clarify the death card reverse. They, they keep falling on the ground, y'all. Five of cups. Too many. Clarify the death call reverse. This is too. Stay calm. Clarify the death call reverse. Okay, there we go. The ten of cups reverse. Okay, so this is definitely backfiring on a lot of individuals here. A lot of individuals are getting caught for something for sure. And right behind that is the hangman energy. That represents being stopped with a six of swords reversed. There's a family that that is uh look like to me on the judgment here. And these these uh, it could be ten or more people here that are literally being caught in connection with a situation here, caught in connection with trying to end things for an individual, either a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Capricorn. We have Taurus energy here, Aquarius, Leo energy. We also have Pisces. That's on the good side of this situation that has a uniqueness to them. There's a lot of individuals here caught in connection with a situation here. That's what I'm getting. It... It's going to be a negative change for uh, all these individuals with this Ten of Cups reverse. I promise you that. They will be judged here physically. Clarify the star card. I'm hearing it's time for punishment. Clarify the star card physically. Clarify the star. We have the Five of Cups, so something could have been exposed at you being upset here. But you will be able to heal from everything of what you have went through here. But something could have also been exposed publicly. Like, I'm also getting like, these people doing this to you, bro, can literally have people crying publicly. Like, whenever they see you on television or whatnot, like if this ends up on TV or through a documentary type of show... When people see this occurring upon you, because I'm getting that, that's made what, that's probably what's going to be shown, etc. This can have a lot of people heartbroken with the Five of Cups here. Them just watching you go through all this, like your public documentary, like everything you went through can literally be broadcast to where a lot of individuals can see you going through something and them literally seeing who you are that has had to go through this right here. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. This is too many. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. So we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse here. Yeah, something could be investigated with some type of, look like to me, armor. With the Knight of Pentacles reverse, but yeah, there's definitely something to do with greed, being underpaid, lack of inspiration. But there's something here, bro, with this armor in reverse. That's what's catching my attention. And what I explained earlier throughout all these other cards, something to do with someone not being able to protect themselves from something here. But this is what's going to work in your favor. Clarify the Empress reverse. Something about a Capricorn could be uh, seen exactly for what's going on here. The Empress Reverse is the King of Cups Reverse. This individual has some type of involvement with hurting somebody repetitively here. Continuously hurting them. Upsetting them. Defamation of character. 
To clarify the Ten of Wands reverse. The Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, just like I said, if you're a Virgo, you're going to be able to pull through this situation. You have someone that cares about you. Or you could be a Virgo lady. You know what I'm saying? Lady. You know, I got to say that. You know what I'm saying? Lady. But uh, anyway, so you could be a Virgo lady. Don't have to be. We do have Virgo up here. You are someone that's going to be able to pull through the situation no matter what. And you also have someone that really cares about you here too. You will be rewarded because of all this that you have been through with the Ten of Wands reverse. You could have already gotten rewarded for it. But there's something that's sitting in this Queen of Pentacles lap. That's all about protection too. Financial security. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to your financial security. Someone's going to make sure that you're granted a lot. That's what I'm getting here. Because of something, something about attacking your physical health, etc. Clarify the eight of wands. This could have possibly been seen and reevaluated here. Evaluated and evaluation. Clarify the eight of wands. This is too many. Clarify the eight of wands. <clears throat> it's too many. Clarify the eight of wands. Bro, this, man, this is irritating how the cards just fall off the table like that. Four of wands. I'm going to just go ahead and choose that, okay? I'm not going to be sitting there shuffling over and over. It just gets to be agitating. I ain't angry at y'all. I just get agitated with that shit happening because I wanted to go right here on the table. There's a lot of table, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got time to get agitated. But anyways, look, four wands came out here. So you could be receiving some form of communication that could be coming to your house. That's all about the house. You could be receiving information about a house or somebody could be traveling to your home to give you some form of positive information. That could be shocking, but also a surprise. A good surprise. Clarify the two of wands reverse. Or you could have received this already. Yeah, look at that. The six of cups here, innocence. So, so a decision, a final decision has been made here that you will be able to walk away from. Some of you out there may make a final decision to stay at home or to stay home rather than leave. Because something else is being escorted off. Wherever you're at, these individuals, whoever this was that was trying to do this to you, is all being transported out of where you stay is what I'm getting. They, they're not allowed there is what I'm getting. Bro, I'm literally getting a vision of the game Zelda. Like, I don't know if you ever played that, but it's called uh, Ocarina of Time or Ocarina of Time. How they had those two what you call them, them soldiers, sitting there with them spears like that. And it was guarding that gate. They was guarding that gate. And if you get too close to those soldiers, they'll throw Link out. Like, I think his name is Link or Luke or what, however you say his name. They'll throw him back like that. No, stay back. Can't go in there. Guarding that castle. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting. So you either the king or queen of something here. You're going to be known as the king or queen of something here. But I'm also getting a removal of energy, and it's not you. It's not you. It's a removal of whoever these individuals are here is what I'm getting, a removal. This guy's to go. This guy, That's how this individual may be sitting. This guy's to go. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, you could be receiving some uh, form of help here financially and also some form of reward. 
with the page of pentacle traverse because of simply some form of fraud like this could be fraud coming out to the light that was hidden from you here and this was very dirty for these individuals to do this to you with the page of pentacle traverse this was dirty of these people to do this to you this was some form of information that was kept with the page of pentacle traverse that didn't hold no power or no weight to actually get something on you here. And this is what's been held over your head and hurting you relentlessly, continuously hurting you. And also other things done throughout the situation also to attack and hurt you also. That is way out of line, way out of line, way out of line. That's what I'm getting with a page of pentacles reverse. That's clarifying this ten of pentacles. You're being granted all this because of all this right here that was used against you continuously and yet trying to add more things on top of it to manipulate the situation and also use other things in a covert way to where you couldn't see it being done, but yet you could feel it. Trust that someone has acknowledged this. Trust that. You have nothing to be concerned about. You don't have to be in your head. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be worried. Listen to the Scorpio man's voice. Listen to my wisdom beyond the power of my voice. You're okay. You're okay. Okay? There's a female crying. Crying right now. She can have like mascara on. And there's some tears falling down this female's face. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Listen to the power beyond my voice. You ain't got nothing to be scared of. You understand me? I don't like that fearful energy. I don't like you get bullied like that. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. It's, it's, it's best to let the pain... Come to the surface because that could be what it is. Let the pain surface. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Get your drink of water if you can. Take you some deep breaths. And relax. It's going to be all right. I promise you. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. If you have went through this with uh look like to me, it could either be a stepmother or somebody's mother figure here. If, the, if this is a mother figure of any sort, this is very dirty, this individual, and this is very toxic. This is this is out of line, this is nasty energy here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, bro, that this will face judgment and punishment, I promise you. Because of what was being done beyond that. In order to have this, because they couldn't get anything but a page of Pentacle Traverse, and yet had the nerve to do that. Take it to that level of extent to get revenge on someone that had something on these individuals, yet wanted revenge? Okay. Okay. This individual ain't too happy is what I'm getting. Mm -mm. They ain't too happy. Even though it's in an upright position, but they're happy for you. You, you know what I'm saying? They're happy for you. Something to do with like, they're happy to bring you a judgment on a situation. That's what I meant to say. They're happy to bring you a judgment on a situation. Okay? Some of you could, you could already receive this already. That's all about a final reckoning, a final examination. Yeah, exactly. A final examination on something here. A mandatory choice that would change life for the better. So, yeah, your life is going to change for the better. Get ready for it. That's why that five of pentacles is in reverse. This individual may want you working with some of these individuals, too. You may not have to take up any training. I mean, regardless of what they want, whoever this is, if you chose or if you choose to change careers, I mean, if you are... Somebody with these high intuitive abilities, skilled abilities. The only other thing that you would have to take up training for is all the other stuff. But when it comes to you knowing certain things, it already comes natural. You're naturally gifted with it. You know, you have natural gifts. You're already gifted with it. You know, 
You're gifted with that high levels of intelligence. You're gifted with the wisdom. You you gifted with being able, being able to see through things, bro. It's like it's unexplainable to, to to these individuals, but they know there's something special about you. You know what I'm saying, lady? With this Queen of Pentacles, don't have to be. Could be a man, dude. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> dude? You know what I'm saying. But anyways, let's go ahead and get a closing message for this read, okay? And we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, 222 is I'm saying that with the likes. Thank y'all very much. I greatly appreciate the support. This is closing out the message. Six of Pentacles. You're being helped. You're being helped. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for the closing message. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. You've been held possibly to do with your patience. This will have to regards to a job, but you've been very patient. This is what I've been telling y'all. You've been very patient on the situation. This could also have something to do with your job. They have a few clairvoyants that's on this YouTube platform that work very hard. And you know what I'm getting from this vest? Someone sitting inside of a vest. Vest is giving me the vibes. I said this before, too, in one of my old readings. You're inside of a vest. What you don't have to be inside of a vest, but in a vest, invest, investing, investigator. Inside of a vest. And with this high priestess coming up for the first card to spread. And this may be your job, just like I said. You could be a Pisces, don't have to be, or you could be a Virgo. Clairvoyant investigator. Why would I pick up unsolved mysteries and cold cases earlier, huh? You put the missing piece of the puzzle together, I guarantee you. It took me a bit for it to register, but that's what I'm getting here. Someone inside of a vest, in a vest, working at their job. And these readers do indeed lay their cards down on the desk, just like this. Laying their cards down on the desk, working at their job alone, which represents self-employment. And literally building something. I'm going to tell you what you done build here. You built something that is unexplainable like just like i said earlier but it's like the unsolved mysteries type situation or the cold cases that's clarifying that six of pentacles you receiving help because of this eight of pentacles energy which is in regards to your patience you don't have to it don't have to be because of your job you can have a complete different job but this could just be in regards to your patience you sitting back not rushing anything, even though it may cause agitation. You just being very patient and working on yourself to, to better yourself throughout the situation. To take care of yourself, to work on yourself. But this could be due to your job. Because that does represent job, employment. I'm just going based off what the cards are telling me. And you can literally read it logically too, and it's linking it right there. That's a job, working. And that's clarifying the Six of Pentacles, which is representing helps, gifts, employment, support. You have support here, sharing, kindness, wealth. That's what I'm getting. And, oh, you remember how I said earlier, cold case, look, it ain't cold no more. Oh, oh. You see, bro, you see how my intuition just picked that up? Look, and this is cold. Ain't cold no more. With the five of pentacles reverse. Because the sunlight is out. That's when everything is coming to the surface, to the light. And the sun represents heat, right? A sunny day. Bro, I'm telling y'all, that's exactly what I'm getting. Look, I said, look, you remember how I, how I said cold case earlier? Or cold case earlier? And ain't cold no more. 
because of the light, the sun coming back out and melting all what was trying to get in the way of this situation has been completely dissolved because of someone's abilities. You could have possibly solved a cold case with this eight of pentacles energy, bro. Whoever you are, you could be a Virgo. Don't have to be. You could also be a lady, too. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's been depicted as a man. You, could also, you know what I'm saying? Lady. You could also be a lady, too. Literally solved a cold case, bro. Why would I pick that up early and this caught my attention and yet you have the hermit card right here. This would be representing cold because of snow. It's in reverse. Ain't cold no more because it was solved right here. Wow, bro. Cool. Ghoul. You could be a Virgo that could have did that shit, bro. Whoever this is, you could be a Virgo. Damn. I mean, we got Virgo energy here, Virgo energy here, Virgo. Well, that's Capricorn, but Virgo right here. Don't have to be. Or you could just be somebody that may resonate with this situation that could have these incredible gifts. And you did it by yourself. You did it by, bro, you know how many investigators they need on something like this? Y'all need to acknowledge our talents, bro. Whoever this is that's very artistic or talented or gifted, you need to acknowledge your skill and what you do. Whoever this is resonate with, you need to acknowledge your skill. Bro, it takes the total of seven or eight of them to get in the line, to line up together. And yet you alone doing that. But yet it was done to you in the process. And yet it literally the Lord put you in this position to solve it yourself. I guess, oh yeah, this is, mm -mm, devil good. that's why I got his hand up. He said goodbye. He's out. Because you got somebody right here that has their hand raised under the proper type of oath. As I say, uh-uh. Let them take this situation in their hands. They got it. They got it. This is out of here is what I'm getting. It's out. Strike three, it's out. Y'all see the difference? This is going to resonate with a clairvoyant literally solving a damn cold case. But just like I said, it ain't cold no more with the five of pentacles reverse. Because something has literally been seen with the hermit card clarifying that five of pentacles reverse. You could be a spiritual person. Like I said, I honor my spiritual self. This could have been done with your spiritual abilities. And you putting everything together. Remember what I told you earlier? Piecing the pieces of the puzzle together. Bro, if this ends up on, on television or through a documentary, this is going to be shocking to a lot of people, yeah. But also heart-wrenching because of who they did this to. They don't deserve to go through any of that. That's what I'm getting here. But anyways, y'all, this is what I have for the read, okay? This is the closing message. Whoever this resonates with, Trust that you have some uniqueness here, especially with the star and the sun card, bro. The high priestess and the hierophant all together and linked together in the upright position. Why do you think things are moving forward here with the eight of wands? You could have helped on another situation too. It may not even be your situation. You could have helped on another situation you may not even be aware about. And you could be rewarded for helping these individuals for another situation that you may have not have known. Not even your situation. You could have helped another person's situation. And they, they, you could have caught these individuals' attention. 
I'm getting the higher ups. Like, like this ain't the local. This is above that. Another situation. This could be eight states away, bro. You never know who's watching. You never know who's watching over you. I'm going to tell you right now, they don't hate you one bit. They don't dislike you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I, they're appreciative of you with the Six of Pentacles here. That's being appreciative and sharing and helping. That's what I'm getting here. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, whoever this is resonating with, congratulations. Because you're being rewarded is what I'm hearing. Like, I'm seeing like the confetti. You know how when someone wins, like, who wants to be a millionaire? And it rains down that confetti like that? This is giving me the vibes of confetti falling. Like, like it's like a celebration, bro. That's immediately what I'm seeing. Who wants to be a millionaire like the confetti? Because they put in all that, their knowledge, what they knew, the answers that they knew, and they want it. Without having to do things behind the scenes to win it, they was already smart enough to go on there and challenge themselves to it and actually win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this could have been a challenging situation. And I'm also getting with this situation right here, bro. You didn't have to use no lifelines because of you having something within your gifted nature, which will be your intelligence. You know how they have the lifelines on there? Like you can use so many lifelines until it's out. You didn't even have to use none of that to win the situation. You literally solved it by your intellectual, intuitive abilities and also analytical abilities all mixed together with intuition. Visionary, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yes. <laughs> it's a yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a yes. Whoever you are, Miss Virgo lady, whoever this is, don't have to be. Could be a Virgo here. That could be congratulated Pisces. We have Aquarius. We have Scorpio. We have Taurus. We have Leo. We have Capricorn. We have all these major arcanas here. Okay? You don't have to be a lady. I just know I like saying that word because it's funny. You know what I'm saying? Lady. But anyways, y'all take it easy out there. Much love to y'all. If y'all want to leave any donations, I will indeed have a link in the description box below. And once again, I ain't trying to blow nobody's cover or none of that, bro. This just, this individual needs to be aware of their gift of nature here. They need to have that clarity because they could have been doubting themselves, okay? That's why I'm not giving specific details or calling out names or any of that. Nah, I know. Trust that you've been acknowledged here. Trust that, bro. Trust it. You've been acknowledged from the most high, but this is giving me physical energy. You've been acknowledged from physical people here. That you are indeed an extremely gifted individual. And guess what? Since your gifts has been acknowledged through whoever this is, they're protecting you. How you like that? How you like that? Look like to me someone's going to have a good Christmas with the four wands. That could represent the reef. You see how it's green and red? Someone's going to have a good Christmas. That's your Christmas gift because you was a gift to these individuals. So you may be gifted. Don't have to be around Christmas, but it looks like to me you're going to have a good holiday celebration. And you know what's on Christmas, what people believe in? If you believe in Jesus, it's God's birthday. But they say it's after that or whatever. That's not the original. But everybody has their own beliefs. But December 25th is supposed to be God's birthday. Okay? That's just what I believe in. That's what my mom taught me as I was growing up. That's when you receive gifts, but it's not about the gifts. 
It's about his birthday. God wants you happy. God wants you happy. And he's going to make sure that you're happy with the sun car. He's going to make sure that you're happy. That you're warm. You're in a warm place here. You're not out in the cold. You're warm with this jacket right here. You're warm. It's a figure of speech that you're warm. You ain't left out in the cold. You ain't seen to be a loser. You ain't seen to be what these individuals try to do to you or the situation that's trying to affect you in this type of way. You ain't going to be seen to be none of that. God wants you happy. And that's exactly what's going to happen or it could be happening. I'm telling you. Because you already been through the worst. You already been through the worst. You have already been hurt numerous amount of times here. And it's over. God has had enough. He has had enough. With the hair of the judgment, this situation is being judged accurately too. With the hair of the judgment card. Okay. But that's what I have for the read. So for some of you out there, you've been going through a tough time. Look like to me, this is an early Christmas present for you. I'm not trying to spoil anything or, or ruin any type of surprise, but you have some type of surprise here with the four of wands. You remember, oh, you remember what I told you earlier about that castle? About Zelda? That's a castle, bro. I'm not saying you get a castle. <laughs> Live in a damn castle, you know what I'm saying? Or a mansion or whatnot. But anyways, look with the four of wands. That's all about what I interpreted earlier whenever I picked up Zelda, the game Zelda. Didn't I tell y'all about those soldiers that protected him? Or, or was protecting that castle? You're protected. That's what I'm getting, extreme protected. That's your place. That's your place. You belong there. That's why the Six of Cups is right there. And whoever these individuals are, don't do not belong anywhere near you. That's your place. That's your place. And you have protection too. But anyways, this is what I have for the read. This will not resonate with everybody. Y'all take it easy out there. Much love to y'all. Thank y'all very much. Once again, for the love and support. It's greatly appreciated. If you want to leave any donations, I will indeed have a link in the description box below. I greatly appreciate my donations, my likes, my subscriptions. And that's what I have for the read, y'all. Okay? Y'all take it easy once again. Much love, and I will see y'all some other time. Peace.